Like many of my colleagues, I too have had concerns about this bill that was first proposed to us just a little over a week ago. I had grave concerns for the number of allowances we are in essence giving away to refineries and the seeding away of any authority that local air districts would have to assist in our fight against climate change. But over the last week, as this bill has been in print and the public has had a chance to review and provide input, we've been able to better understand this proposal and on balance, I'm quite clear that supporting it is the superior choice. While a number of allowances will still be available under the new system, this bill reduces emission permits post-2020, while at the same time reducing overall offsets and requiring more of those offsets to provide environmental benefits right here in California, something that the current system simply doesn't do. And yes, this bill limits the ability of local air districts to regulate refineries for CO2 emissions, but that is uh, uh, simply so that the state ARB can create a uniform and forcible standard. Local districts will maintain their authority to regulate all other air pollutants, such as toxic and criteria pollutants and short-lived climate pollutants, all of which are critical pieces in our collective efforts to clean up the air in our most disadvantaged communities and allow our local air districts to continue to lead in addressing climate change. But more importantly, if this bill passes with a two-thirds vote, we once and for all end the constant legal challenge to our ability to charge polluters for their emissions and design programs to meet our goals. This means we will be able to move forward on all of our other tools that we need to fight climate change. Tools like measures governing methane and other fugitive emissions at refineries, improving our advanced clean cars program, advancing our low carbon fuel standard regulations, add regulations addressing short-lived climate pollutants and implementing the Sustainable Freight Action Plan all of these things are critical to addressing this issue that we all acknowledge is the issue of our time. And absent this bill, every one of these efforts are in jeopardy. And without these programs, we simply will not reach our 2030 goals. So is this bill perfect? No, it's not. But we need to be clear this bill advances our initiatives to reach our 2030 emission reduction goals, and for this reason, I'm supporting this bill today, and I ask that you join me in doing so.